Hi, I'm Harper. Ciao, I'm Eva. Neapolitan pizza is the holy grail of pizza, and if you ask an Italian, it might be the definition of pizza. The Neapolitanian pizza is the only pizza that exists in the world. The problem, of course, is making it at home. Most people don't have a wood-fired oven just, you know, hanging out in their living room. But we do. See, we live in this old New England house and it has a wood-fired bread oven, but when there's an Italian living in the house, it turns into a pizza oven, which is why we're in a unique position to test some of the methods and uh, tricks that you can use in a conventional oven to make Neapolitan pizza. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We are going to make a wood-fired Neapolitan pizza so that we can objectively record and figure out what makes it so good. And then we're gonna make a pizza in our normal oven and see how close we can get it to the real thing. Genius, is it not? So Ava, are you ready to fire this test kitchen up? Pronta. Well, we have our first casualty of the day. I burned my finger pretty bad. Uh, always wear gloves when you're making wood fire pizza, kids. <laughs> And we have our very first test subject as authentic a Neapolitan style pizza as we could possibly make. So we should try it. Yes, are you ready with the scissors? And buon appetito. Buon appetito. Every time we fire up that oven, I forget how good real pizza is. That's perfect. <laughs> So there are a few things that I'm noticing about this pizza that kind of make it unique. The first is the taste. Everything tastes very, tastes very fresh. That's because of the ingredients. So it's very simple ingredients, right? I mean, the tomato sauce was really just tomatoes and the cheese was just cheese. There's not a lot in there, but you really taste each, each ingredient. So when we make a pizza without a wood oven, that's probably the easiest thing that we can replicate. The second thing is the char on the dough and the way that the crust rises. Albert, but this is very difficult to replicate in a normal oven because the wood oven usually is very hot, so that's why the dough rises so much in, in just in 90 seconds. In a normal oven, this is not possible. Well, lots of people use pizza stones, which we've never tried before. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot 
and apparently a pizza stone if you heat it up at the hottest temperature in the oven it comes close to approximating that so hopefully with a pizza stone we can get the kind of crust that we're looking for The last thing that is very noticeable about the wood fire pizza though is the smoky flavor. This is very hard to replicate in a normal oven. Yeah, I mean, you kind of need smoke to make smoke, but I think maybe we have a way of uh, getting that smoky taste in our pizza. Okay, well, I think we have all of the necessary information to make our, uh, our home wood-fired pizza without a wood oven. You ready? Yes, I'm always ready. We were uh, preheating our oven, hoping that uh, we could reach the maximum of temperature that it should be 550 degrees. But the problem is that uh, with this uh, external uh, thermometer, we discovered that our oven will reach just 500 degrees. So we cook the pizza anyway, hoping that we can have a good result. If you find yourself in Montclair, New Jersey, go and check out Sicilia Mia. They send us this wonderful bottle of olive oil and as you can see is hand painted. This oven, it takes longer to cook the pizza. That's why I'm not going to use to put some basil right now because we risk that it can burn. So we cook the pizza like that, then um, when it means like uh, five minutes to be ready, we are going to put also some fresh basil. And now it's time for some 21st century smoke. <coughs> we have our test pizza straight out of the home normal conventional oven that lies by the way when that oven says it's at 550 it's not at 550. No. so let's see if it's like before careful with those are you scary <laughs> a little bit mm -hmm. i know what happens when you don't like pizza <laughs> so the result is not so bad it seems promising so it's far it's not so bad let's taste it though Bon appetito. Bon appetito. The other one was better. <laughs> it was, yes. But. That's not terribly surprising though. But. That's pretty good though. It's a pretty good pizza. Okay, let's break it down. So the taste of the ingredients. Are the same. It's the same. No surprise there. Excuse me while I take another bite. <laughs> The crust itself, it's not very evident in this piece, but if you look down here, it rose quite a bit and it's nice and big and fluffy. However, we're definitely missing most of that char. It's not, it's, it's nice and crunchy, but it's not, you don't get that char. Um, the thing that doesn't seem to have worked at all is the smoke. I, I don't taste that at all. Zero. Not at all. No. Zero. Yeah. So you don't need the smoker. You can also cook it in the normal oven. It's good, but... Uh... I, re I really thought that smoker would be cooler, but it didn't. It didn't do very much in this case. 
But the crust itself is very good. I made the pizza. <laughs> and you're continuing to eat it, which is always a very good sign. No, it's a very good pizza. <laughs> it's a very good pizza, but it's obvious that the wood oven makes the difference. Yeah, but in terms of what is, you know, pretty easy to make at home, this is a really mm -hmm. good option, right? Mm -hmm. So overall, what would you rate your first pizza stone experience? Okay, from zero to ten. Yeah. If wood oven is ten. Yeah. This is a pretty good seven. Pretty good seven. seven. See, see. So that is our uh, objective measure, scientific measurement of <laughs> the effectiveness of a pizza stone in today's experiment. <laughs> pizza, if it's well done, it's always good when it's pizza. What if we added just a little bit of pineapple? Okay, 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 sorry. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed our little pizza experiment today. We're gonna put the recipe down below if you want to try making this at home. And uh, goggles probably not required, but you no, know. maybe no. It's a nice touch. It is nice. Yeah, it helps from like tomato sauce splattering in your face. <laughs> or the smoky. <laughs> so, <laughs> the smoke. <laughs> it would help with my eyes, yeah. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and uh, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, follow <laughs> us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at Pasta Grammar, and we'll see you next time. Ciao! Ciao!